Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange. Last step we started chapter two. We gathered Max's shower supplies and now we have to get to go take a shower. Such mundane goals. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Why doesn't she do her own work? Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am Whoa. so on it, consider it done. Ever tried doing something yourself, girl? Victoria's room, knock. What purpose does that serve? Hey, Vicky. Yeah, may that be the case. Fine, I won't disturb you. Anyway, bathrooms. Anything new? I don't know if there's anything new. Kate, post up. I had a door. Ow! The hell? Who just threw toilet paper at you? That's not what I wanted. What do I do? Warn. Alyssa. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> She's always getting stuff thrown at her, the poor wow. girl. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Random, but okay. Uh-huh. Can I come in? I need to shower. Okay, apparently not. It's this one over here, isn't it? Yeah. How's Dana going? Dana, what are you doing? What are you doing, I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. I take it she's not pregnant? Hmm. What are you hooming about? There's nothing wrong with that. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. God, it turns music off. It's freaking loud. Freaking loud. Paper bowl. This is both sad and pathetic. Yeah, I think I already read that. Stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween Aww. party. Well, hey, she gets into the spirit of things. Anyway, love, can you turn this music off? Thank you. Or at least turn it down. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. <laughs> By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Yay! That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Yeah, look at that. Borrow wheel. one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Well, I mean, why not? I'm sure it'll be fine. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. <sighs> After this, you'll be ready for a rave. No. It does sound like fun. I don't know about that. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Yeah, no. I don't think we'll be ready for any raves anytime soon. Rollerblades. I don't know if I saw those last time. Anywho, shower you say. Do we need to speak to Juliet? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? No? What? Why? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. What video? Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche! So angry. Now I feel like an ass. <laughs> Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Can I see what you're talking about? What about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Good to hear. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I have no idea what video we're even talking about. Brooke, can you enlighten me? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. 
I bet Warren can. I doubt Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Well, I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. Aww. I'll see you around. We still need to get her and Warren together. But seriously though, what, what is this video y'all talking about? Mm. Perplexing. Very perplexing. Kate? You okay in there? I want to know what video this is all about. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. It's entirely possible. What's this video you're going on about, guys? Am I just not remembering something from the other day? There she is! She looks like a zombie. Hey, Kate. Hey, Kate. That sounds creepy. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. You're welcome. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? Hey. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Gosh, she sounds so on edge. It's kind of creepy. Oh, well. Share it up, Max. What happens to Kate? Or what happens to your clothes should be the question. What are you doing? That is the creepiest shower ever. Gonna do, Kate. No, I thought someone kind of What's came up, in. What's up, Kate? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Clubbing. Victoria, okay. that wasn't me. Oh my God! Right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boohoo! I'm sorry. You're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. Face, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Oh, is that what it is? Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hey, they were on good terms. Do you guys, like, not even care who's in the shower behind She's a you? weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I know, right? I love it. Let me guess. <laughs> we have to wipe off the link? Yeah, let's wipe that off. For sure. As if we'd leave that there. You're putting the same clothes back on? You didn't bring anything else? Did you turn the shower off? Hello? I better get dressed then go give back Kate's book. Oh, someone else's shower? Wow, so they're saying this in front of two other people as well. Wow. Otter power? I'm so not there. I hear. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> uh, let's just hurry over here and get rid of the message. We'll look at it first. Is that the link to Kate's video? Kate, damn, VIP. Victoria is so fucking mean. You phrase. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Do you want to like wash your hands? Cause you've got that crap all over your hands now. Hello. And smear it all over your face. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. What, what am I looking at? Oh, oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Oh, so I should have looked at that first. Oh, oops. I oops. forgot about the water pressure. You gotta survive. The last time I got a flu shot, 
I got the flu. Fuck you. Yeah, we already read that one before. Okay. Rachel's a whore. Charming. Let's get out of here. So we need to go find that book and give it back to Kate, unless something else has happened in the two seconds since I was out here. This is my room, right? Yes. That cute little face. Where's the book? Oh, holy Ugh, hell. No fucking way. What? This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Is that Nathan Prescott's handiwork? What a dick. Keep calm and carry on. Oh, what an ass. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Oh, yeah, after the fact. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. <laughs> uh, you gotta give him points for uh, artistry and trying. Taking the time to do stuff. Anyway, where was the book? Papers, search. No book here. Mm, we saw the book on her first day here. I'm positive. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Well, better fix this fast. Shit. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Move that first. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. Love it. You're mine. So now we go head back to Kate. Could we take a picture of the picture? Can we take a picture of the wall? Like, seriously, you're just gonna leave it? And you've just left your cell phone there? What Nathan Prescott took your cell phone? I need phone? to get dressed before I go there. Oh, yeah, well, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Oh, hey, I have the same exact suit for every day of the week. Uh -huh. And he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> that you know of. Hi. Kate's room. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. I What's this? Keep a smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. Ain't nowhere you sleep. Uh huh, real creepy. Not. I'm not deterred. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Absolutely has to but be. But it could be anybody. Well, bang for God. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. Can you write something positive if like you did? I sure day? would like to catch this hall tagger. Do you guess know who it is? Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. I got your book. Wow, this room is kind of depressing. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you for you to blah, and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Wow. She's so, so understanding. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. So the question becomes, why did she stop? What happened last week? Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Again, it begs the question, what happened last week? Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. I don't think so, somehow. Oh, and she has a Bible just sitting here. Kate even makes one. notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. And that's I had nothing thing. to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Why is that crossed out? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. So I'm going to assume that she's done justice for herself in some way, but it hasn't brought her joy? That's my assumption. What are that supposed to mean? Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. What's up with her hair? It's so disturbing. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. 
until lately. He keeps begging the question, what changed? Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? For her shame? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and yeah, around positive. Around the bed. Okay, creepy Kate candles. really has a doting father. Oh, this is from Pop. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie will always be my brightest light against the dark. Well, I wonder how he feels about all this business. That's a lot of tears. Oh dear. She's going to go through boxes. Oh dear, she's crying a heart out. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Yeah, that seems to me. Hey, rabbit. That is the cutest bunny ever. I know, right? I bet Katie's a good mommy. Bunny rabbits are illegal in my state. It's really sad <laughs> in Queensland. Because they breed too quickly and easily. And we had some sort of like rabbit pandemic at one point in time. So now it's illegal to own a pet rabbit. It's really sad. It's so adorable. Like honestly, it's so freaking cute. Hey, donut slash bagel, the diner, and a bone. I will do my best. <gasps> Later, is this going to tell us what happened? Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that video. Video what? Oh, tape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Ow. Damn. Good Lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. She is seriously messed up in the head, I tell you. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Oh, that's the sisters. That's kind of pretty. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Well, she doesn't tell me what the problem is. I'm not going to figure it out. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Is something happening between you and Chloe's stepdad? I hate bullies. I had no choice. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. As if. All right. What about the video? Did you play with him? Why? Ugh. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? I won't. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and Please maybe tell I me. can help. Tell Basically, me. I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh, they drugged her. Oh my god. That's awful. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick. So the and answer dizzy. is yes, someone Go did drug on. her. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Of course he did. Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. <laughs> He's the beans. opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. Is it I'm in listening. His, his house? Was Somebody was something? talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. What? And... And... A sting in her neck, like a needle. And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. 
I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. What about your neck? Please so, the prick. who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. And you can't even tell this anybody. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Talk Kate, to the police. We'll figure it out. Like, hello? I'll check back later, okay? You would go talk to the police. Because that's cool Thanks, charge Matt. right there. You can put my book here near my bag. Wow. Poor girl. So much shit going on. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Okay. Absolutely, Kate. Go for Anything. it. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Oh, definitely hurt you. Should I go to the police? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Go to the police or look for proof. And here I was just saying, go to the police. But where's the proof? I mean, her mind is proof to a certain extent. But if I look for proof, then... What if she goes looking for proof and ends up in even worse trouble? What if I have to look for proof and I end up in trouble? Oh, I hate these kinds of decisions. If you go to the police without any proof, it's not going to end well. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Yeah, I'm not happy with that option. Oh, that's a cute little statue. Oh. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what oh, happened. Now I'm regretting. Should I just leave it? Go to the police, honey. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. This I know for fact. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. Police first. With you as my backup Not witness, the they'll first. have to take police. us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. So is she going to the police or not? I'm so confused about the outcome of this conversation. That just makes her more depressed. These options both suck. Wow. Real inspirational. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Oh well, we're committed. Just get the hell out of here. I'm over it. It's all terrible. All my decisions are terrible, but let's just let's just live with it. Where are we actually going now? Do we do we have like a, a mission? I don't know. I'll just quickly read this. This is a new page, I think. Now I have to the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran to get in the showers and she asked for The October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. And Victoria can make me feel dirty in a shower. Lol. Um, well, yeah, it's not telling me where to go. Can we just get out? 
Hello, exit. Uh, Max, food. Two whales. I'm going! See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast! Smiley face, no emoji. Of course, no emoji. Okay, let's head to the two whales. You still doing a dance? Nope, she's just sitting reading. Any more to say, Brooke? Perhaps not. Yeah. Wait, what? I can look in the trash can. Samuel True. What? Oh! It just took me to the new other location. It's not really what I wanted, but okay. Hey, Samuel! Oh, it's the bird! Don't I need a picture of a donut, don't I? The birds are flocking around Samuel. It's because he's so cool. Ah, there's Samuel, up early. Already communing with the critters. Communing? Hey, Samuel, <laughs> you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals, snow, talk later. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Dear, I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. That's cute. Snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> Yeah. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you Bye, will. Bye, Samuel. Have fun. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Is it encouraging me to go to this totem? Can I even get to this totem? Jesus, could you walk any slower? Come on, Max. Pick up the pace. Oh, I'm not supposed to get to it. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Mm-hmm. Who's over here? Is that Taylor? Looks like Taylor. She's not with Victoria. Odd. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Oh, that's promising. Hi, Taylor. She must Hi, Taylor. As well. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. <laughs> oh, cute. Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. She will. That's true. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Interesting. Bossy best friends. I guess I've had mean bossy best friends too. Better than having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Oh no, you must We've had sick. our talk. That's sad. Why would I want to rewind that conversation? There was nothing wrong with that conversation. What's this? Oh, it's just a sprinkler, I think. I don't know why it was encouraging me to rewind. Although, if I rewind, that would give me other options, wouldn't it? Because I know what she's going to say. Yeah? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. About your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. Yeah, there we go. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Is she okay now? Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Oh, okay. My mother's doing all right. That's sad. 
how are you getting there? This is Nathan's father. This is my message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. What do you, gee, did you ever think about, like, why other students are trying to do that? I hope you'll last. Because of this final polite warning. Uh huh. I'm sure. And I'm totally convinced that it's from his father. Uh huh. Totes. Not late. Hey, Ray, look at that. Hey, Warren! Max, what up? Come on over here. I'm, I'm going to meet Chloe, so I can't speak for long. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. I, I think I mentioned this before. Warren is great on paper in, in his messages, but in person, he's, he's such an idiot. I don't really like him. Thank you, that was intense. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. Yes, you did. I'm some personal superhero. It's fun to watch. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? How do you not know her? She's, like, part of the school, is she not? <laughs> Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. You know it. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Dude, that is even cooler. I busted him. Don't get involved. Eh, what the heck, if he dies, he dies. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Oh, I see. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Yeah, Speaking yeah. of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Lame. Let's go ape! No, let's not. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I'm not going to I just feel like escaping. Pass? Fine. Such a lame movie. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. You do that, buddy. No interest whatsoever. Take the bus. Can't she just, like, walk there or something? <laughs> I'm assuming we are going to the two well diner, right? David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Yes, it does. Or Rachel. Or both. You never know. There's the bus. More music. Seriously? I'm not interested in your hipster music. So she wrote Don't. in her journal. Oh my god, a whole three pages? Are you kidding me? Wowza! The plot thickens, and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things were here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth den. And Kate is the opposite of emo goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in expressionist misery. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER. And she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she should go to the principal, uh, the police and the principal. I told Kate that she absolutely should go to, the, to them. Other people could be in danger. But Kate also said she would use me as her backup, which kind of scares me because of this text threat. Should I be getting involved when somebody's obviously stalking me worse already? This is getting freakier than I can handle. Supermax, not. 
I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten ahead of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I don't care about Warren. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the time or space. The right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately, just so he could have his own human time machine. Or capture me for scientific experiments. Or make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, he did try and get me to go to the drive-in with him, and I refused. I'm not really in the mood this week, and I also don't want to lead him on. Damn straight we don't want to lead him on. To hell with that. You know that oh, come on. Get on with it. Wake up in time. Miss the diner. Miss your stock. Journal entries. What more do you have to speak about? Other than the fact that the wind is apparently picking up. Oh, it's a cop car. Must be a cop in the area. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. Two whales dying. I wouldn't dream of it. 24 hours. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk ticket. about going back in time. Lottery Shibana ticket. Looks exactly the same. About. What? Anyway, you had another page. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which makes me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice side soundtrack ride to the Two Whales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although, now that there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate. Old ships and big ocean. Oh, that's kind of cute. But that is where I'll leave it there. We've had a change of scenery, change of location, which means the game automatically saves. Which means I am free to get out of it. God, that woman's striding so... Oddly. Look at that, that arm movement. Weird. Thanks so much for watching this up, guys. If you'd like to give a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.